H.G. Wells was born September 21st, 1866 in Kent, England. Known as the father of science fiction, he wrote books such as The Time Machine, The Invisible Man, and War of the Worlds. Wells is credited with predicting technological advances before they existed, including the airplane, military tanks, space travel, the atomic bomb, and even the internet. On August 13th, 1946, H.G. Wells died in London, England. He was quickly cremated three days later, August 16th. His ashes were supposedly spread on the southernmost tip of the Jurassic Coast in England. His cause of death officially was just natural causes, and credible sources on the internet seem split. He either died of diabetes, liver failure, or a heart attack. However, I posit that maybe he did not die at all. He in fact had invented this time machine. This led me to find a letter by H.G. Wells, which somewhat proves my theory if it is true. I believe he left clues in his books. He would use a time machine after the War of the Worlds and become an invisible man. After World War II ended, he disappeared and his body vanished three days later. I thought I had found video evidence of, uh, if not H.G. Wells himself, another time traveler who seemingly went into a shed as a young man, came out of the shed the next day as a much older version of himself. However, this video has since been removed. I was able to find a morning radio talk show discussing the video, but that's about it. A shed on his property. Okay. And in the, in the video of his house, you see a guy walk through his property, get to the shed, open the shed door, go in and close the door. And I don't know how old the guy is when he goes in, but when he comes out, like a day later, yeah. like you don't need to watch 27 hours of video. All right, let me pull this up. But you do ultimately see the guy walk out of the shed, and he is much older. Dated on May 13th, 2021. Here is the letter I found supposedly written by H.G. Wells in 2021. Dear neighbor, I must be brief but I thought it necessary to log some information down while the internet is still active and thriving. You see, I have been traveling in time since the year 1894. The way this works is a bit elaborate so I won't get into the technicalities, but basically, I am able to slingshot myself into the future. So long as I locate my older self, who has lived a full life, and send him back into the past from which I traveled. I might get caught three years from now entering a shed and then re-emerging days later as an old man. This is what I'm doing. Staving off my own death to live forever by finding older versions of myself and then doing the old switcheroo. What this means, if you think about it, is that I am sacrificing life to live forever. I exist in a single time, for but a moment, and then catapult into the future. But rarely am I living. Most of the time, I am just trying to figure out the next slingshot. Every iteration of the future grows stranger than the last, and the gig is up if one of my future selves dies early unexpectedly. But I've managed to go from 1894 to 1945 and then to 1996 and then to 2024, and then I will transpose myself to 2055. The point of the novel, which I wrote before embarking on my journey through time, was to illustrate that no matter what, fate dictates our lives. I guess now you refer to this phenomenon as karma. I'm not really sure what you are supposed to do with this information, but I hope it finds you well. 
I also hope you don't fear death as I have, but welcome it as you would, a long night's sleep, after a work long day. Row 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 your boat. My child, life is. But a dream. Sincerely, H.G. Wells.